Lately, there has been a lot of attention towards AI, and honestly, it seems like there is a tornado of intriguing discoveries to cover. Now, you may have heard of Meta, which was formerly known as Facebook, but did you know that they have been quietly making waves in the field of artificial intelligence? Well, with the need to stay on top, it doesn't really come as a shocker. Meta has been progressively releasing some mind-boggling language models, even though businesses like Google and the powerhouse partnership of OpenAI and Microsoft have been hogging the spotlight. And not too long ago, say at the beginning of this year, they introduced Llama, a lightweight model that was outfitted with an incredible 65 billion parameters. Yet this cannot be the end of the story, since they have lately taken things to the next level with Lima. Lima is essentially an improved version of Llama's older sibling, Llama. It consists of just 1,000 replies that have been carefully selected, and it does not use reinforcement learning or human preference modeling. Now, what differentiates Lima from other solutions is its scalability. Because it was trained to utilize the robust Llama architecture, it can perform miracles on smaller machines. Cool, right? And let us tell you one thing, Lima has completely destroyed the competition in this category. You see, it has demonstrated impressive verbal prowess, besting linguistic heavyweight champions such as OpenAI's ChatGPT3 and Google's Bard. And people have really been operating various versions of Llama on their lowly laptops, which demonstrates that Lima's true magic comes in the fact that it is incredibly lightweight and that this has been possible without the use of servers. So just imagine the impact that this will have in the years to come. They are really monumental. Yet that is not all. Lima's victory represents two significant milestones in the field of artificial intelligence and natural language processing. In the first place, it demonstrates how effective pre-training may be as a technique for the training of enormous language models. It gives the impression that we might be able to attain outstanding performance without relying on reinforcement learning or the feedback of humans. And so because of this, the process of training big language models for a wide variety of applications will be more straightforward and more time and resource efficient. Second, Lima's versatility and success in various unanticipated roles speaks something about her character as well. It provides some evidence that enormous language models have the potential to learn and carry out a diverse range of language-related tasks with only a small amount of supervision and adjustment. Given all that, it seems that the possibilities for language comprehension and manipulation are virtually limitless. Then again, it is not simply a matter of being less cumbersome and more scalable. Instead, it is a matter of rethinking the course that artificial intelligence will take. That said, Lima's replies were shown to be similar to or even favored than GPT-4 in an astounding 43% of situations after being subjected to painstakingly carried out research investigations. And when compared to BARD at 58%, which was taught with human feedback, and ChatGPT at 65%, which was trained with human feedback, the statistics skyrocketed even further. Similarly, the consequences of this achievement are highly significant, as it pushes the limits of what can be accomplished with language models. Now let's switch gears and talk about another remarkable AI marvel, YOLO, which is an image identification program that has experienced considerable changes in its trip from version 6 to version 8. Imagine the following to gain an understanding of its remarkable capabilities. YOLO expertly dissects a scene from the popular television program Friends, naming each and every component that can be found in the picture without a single error. Even while this might appear to be a light-hearted application, the possibilities it presents go well beyond the realm of entertainment. Imagine using YOLO in the warehouse of a corporation to precisely identify the items stored there or in public spaces to increase the level of safety and protection available. It also opens up the possibility of monitoring animal cages to guarantee that your furry friends remain safe within their confines. As a result, an attractive new area has been opened, all credit to the combination of AI and picture recognition, though it has not yet been thoroughly investigated. And now is where the excitement really starts to build up. Think about incorporating this software into a physical robot that would be controlled by a multimodal artificial intelligence system. The progression of artificial intelligence will be characterized by a convergence of picture recognition with a wider variety of inputs and outputs. Of course, the ramifications are enormous, and the prospects look hopeful since we can imagine a future in which robots outfitted with such sophisticated software will have the ability to recognize and comprehend a wide variety of things and situations. Undoubtedly, 
Each game-changing innovation brings us that much closer to realizing the full potential of artificial intelligence, given the ability of Lima to understand language and the skills of YOLO, to recognize images are only two examples of the transformational power that lies in wait for us. Meanwhile, despite this new terrain, an unanticipated research paper emerged recently, which immediately captured the attention of many people. The study presents a groundbreaking improvement in the field of texture 3D generation, an area beset with difficulties in earlier versions. So, give it a read when you get the chance. Historically, Texture 3D generation has struggled with problems such as excessive smoothing and oversaturation, which hampered the production of realistic results. And of course, these difficulties continue to be a challenge today. On the other hand, the article that we just mentioned presents an original method that is referred to as variational score distillation. This means the distribution of the 3D parameter is inferred using this particle-based variational framework, which treats the parameter as a random variable. The researchers can then construct astonishingly high-quality 3D neural radiation fields NERFs, that radiate an unsettling realism as a result of this novel approach. And then we have the works on display at the Louvre. To those who are not familiar with the practice, the standard map of the 3D model is displayed on the right-hand side. This is a method that, once the model's texture has been applied, lends depth and realism to the model. This map, as a result, gives the computer vital instructions for rendering the 3D model and inferring its individual properties based on those instructions. But even if these mind-blowing 3D models are not yet easily accessible as utilizable assets, the very fact that they exist is evidence of the remarkable progress being made in this area. Meanwhile, technology is advancing at a rapid pace, which is also resulting in the creation of a vast number of new opportunities and applications. The direction of this invention offers a lot of promise too, although we could require some time before these assets become practical in day-to-day -day circumstances. Moving on, another very interesting news as per recent social media platforms is that of the leak regarding ChatGPT. But even though the leak rumors surrounding ChatGPT are intriguing, it's crucial to understand that they originate from Reddit threads and have acquired popularity on Twitter, and there's really no way of confirming them as of now. You see, a user who has been known to leak updates to ChatGPT has released a screenshot that appears to show a My Profile and My Files area, implying that users would be able to upload files and have ChatGPT remember their preferences and information. Intriguingly, as we dug deeper, we found that research into file uploads in GPT chat rooms already existed. A YouTube guide demonstrated a creative workaround that enabled users to upload files to the IMGPT chat. This proves that implementing such a feature is technically doable, so it wouldn't be shocking if it was eventually implemented. For example, users sometimes want ChatGPT to remember specifics about their previous prompts. Then again, the ability to interact with PDF files and upload different file kinds to ChatGPT is already available through several third-party applications. Having said that, Adobe Firefly, a much-anticipated program, has also finally been made available to the general public. Now, while some of the features demonstrated in the Adobe Firefly video are still in the works, the tool already provides professionals in the creative industries with a set of advantages that aren't available on competing platforms. Right now, Adobe Firefly offers a bright future for content creators who want to optimize their workflow with the help of AI, even if some features like Texture 3D are still in development. According to reports, Adobe's promotional flick provides a look into the potential of this program, showcasing how it can enable producers to rapidly and effectively generate appealing content. And, well, to say the least, it's all super interesting. Of course, Bard, Google's newest chatbot creation, has also been criticized for lacking imagination and character and remains a much-talked topic for the past few days. Google CEO Sundar Pichai, though, has addressed consumers' worries and promised an upgrade to a more robust model in the near future. Mashable's testing showed that while Bard mainly delivered uninspiring responses, there were times when it showed promise by providing answers that were both straightforward and novel. Pichai further clarified that Google took things slow when introducing Bard because it was just an early experiment. He compared Bard to a souped-up Civic, taking on more powerful sports cars to stress Google's reserve in the face of stronger competitors. Despite the backlash, Pichai suggested a promising future in which customers' preferences may be factored into the design of their own unique chatbot models. So, 
Which one of these AI advancements are you betting on? Let us know in the comments below, while sure you have subscribed to the channel for more.